there's an app in the app exchange called abc customer updates their own records and it's really meant to show the cool things you can do with quickbase with the open to everyone on the internet functionality which means this is going to really illuminate some of the cool things you can do with quickbase when you don't have a user license but you want people to update their information let's take for example down below here uh kirk tracy um i want you can see it was last sent out at 307 i'm going to click on this this process of me editing this record and updating it to 318 is firing an email notification to me and I'm going to look at this email notification that I just got and uh, you can see this button if I hover over it you can see that it's intelligently loaded with a lot of information which makes it easy on the person you're sending it to click to see and fill out and update their local contact information and just for an example, let's change this to 222, 222, 2222, so we'll know the difference. Let's change this, I don't know, to Boston Post Road or something like that. All right, so these are the changes. We'll say submit, um, and it says thank you. Now, in the background, um, and let's go back, I'm going to go back to this here. Um, in the background, there's a pipeline that's running. And I'm going to go and look at this record for a second. This is where it was spawned from, and it's because this date field changed. And down below here, you can see that I press the button, and it's Boston Post Road, and it's 2222. Now, a pipeline fires in the background, and look, how did it get up here? How did this and this change? Well, the updates are being made here so it's okay to use everyone on the internet to add records and that's what we're doing it just so happens this button down below here knows which record id i'm from let me edit this button and this is the button that i would send and it's right down here it's going to add gen add record form into the table that does the updates and when it gets there, it's going to say, oh, take my identity and at least imprint it into field 20, which links me back to the customer record. So there's my linkage. Now, that's not visible on the form, but that's that helps fill out and uh, connect me with what's there. And it also allows me to take any of the field values that I presently know about this customer and take the company name and put it into six, like this, in case somebody wants to change it. And, and then in the end, um, it uh, goes to um, a thank you page. It, that's a standard kind of um, form process. All right, so now let's take a look at the um, button one more time. We're going to use this button. By the way, this is really simply a formula um, URL button that goes to a different um, redirect but it, it actually let, let's take a look at it again once again so there's a variable so this is going to um, go to a redirect of this and when we invoke it it takes the url and then redirects it to this so there is a url and this is where the start is i'm refreshing my head as i'm looking at it here the url it's going to edit the record that we're on where the record ID equals the record ID, find field 31 and put now into that field. Now that's what the URL is. The redirect is this redirect up above here. So whenever this button is pressed, it does this, which is this piece here, and then it redirects to this, which is defined up above here. So, um, so that's all that's, that's really doing. Let's try it one more time. We click on this, and it gives us the current date and time, as you can see, 324 now. I'm going to get an email, which I just got. Here's the email. It's all filled out with Boston Post Road. I hover over this. You see all the stuff that's coming over from the original button. I click it. And I can change this to VP of sales. And I'm going to say it's uh, 333, 333, 333, 333. And before I hit submit, let me make sure that I have the pipeline in view. Is this it? Yeah, I think this is it. I'm going to 
turn it on so we can see it. And let's go back to, I hope I can find that form. Yes, it is right here. I'm going to hit submit. And now let's go back over to the pipeline and we'll watch it go through its process. So they go in sequence A, B, C, D, and A is probably way down at the bottom. It recognized that this changed and it's VP of sales. And what did I say? The uh, phone number uh, was, oh, 333-3333, right? So it found it. It had to do a lookup. Um, it looped through the records. It uh, did a, um, uh, excuse me, let me move up to the top. It found a record in the search, which was the parent, and it updated it with the information that was submitted. So uh, if we came back in here one more time, we look at this, we um, can see that 3333 is in here, VP of sales, and... Uh, there, we cover things like this in our webinars called Office Hours, held Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. East Coast time. You can find this at quickbase.com slash webinars, and you are all invited. Uh, look forward to talking to you at some time. Thank you.